Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PCGO video, and today guys is a very hyped day because Celestial Storm is finally on a PCGO. If you guys are hyped, leave a like, and also guys, I got some things to say. One, I'm very close to 3,000 subscribers. I'm like maybe 50 off or something like that. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to help me hit 3K subs. I want to hit that very, very soon, maybe by the end of the week. That'd be pretty dope. And then also guys, I usually ask for 100 likes on my first set day set video. So let's see if we can break 100 likes for Scizor GX today. So anyways, let's look at today's deck which is like a Scizor GX toolbox deck. It's a very cool deck, and I like Scizor. It's one of my favorite GX to come out of the new set. Let's take a look at it. You have Danger Perception. If this Pokemon's remain HP is 100 or less, its attacks do 80 more damage. That's the best part about it. That ability is great. This makes Steel Wing do 160 damage for two energies, and with a Choice Band, you do 190, which allows you to one-shot Buzzwolves and stuff like Rayquaza and stuff like that. So Steel Wing Danger Perception is a very good combo. Scizor also has a very good GX attack, Crosscut, does 100 damage if your opponent's active as an evolution does 100 more, so you can do 200 damage, which will essentially allow you to one-shot stuff like um, Lycanroc GX, and a big one can be Zoark with a Choice Band, so Crosscut is a great attack also, and Crosscut goes well with Danger Perception also. So Scizor GX is a very good attacker in my opinion. It's a very underrated card, not a lot of people giving it the love it deserves, but it, I think, has some potential to be very good. And the list that I've gone with today is more of like a toolbox deck with like a bunch of attackers to support it, and one support card is not Sophie, I'm sorry, but it is Muck, because I like Muck. I'm playing around with Muck right now, because Garbodor is leaving. Um, let's look at some of the cards here. I am playing one Celesteela for Moonraker. Very good attack if the total remaining prize is in play is six. You only need one energy to attack with this, so you only need one energy to do 160, which is bonkers. It might be hard to pull that off. Sometimes it's impossible at one point in the game to use this attack. Uh, we got one Dust Mane Necrozma with Dust Shot. Very good attack and snipe Pokemon. Get some extra damage on the board too, which is very good. Maybe hit better numbers for Scizor. We are playing one Ready Steel. We're gonna try out as many new cards as we can. Ready Steel just so happens to be one of those. We have Silver Fist, which for Metal and DC can hit 420 on a Pokemon with an ability, so you can want you can hit you know stuff like uh, Dawnwing, Zoark. You can one shot a Gardevoir GX, which is pretty relevant too. Even though Scizor can do big damage. Um, too, but you know, Registeel is just nice to have. And we're gonna just test it out. I know Exoskeleton does get blocked by Alolan Muck, but there's times where Alolan Muck is useless, right? Um, and speaking of which, we are playing a 2 1 Alolan Muck line. I am trying this out. We don't want to play Garbodor with uh, Scizor because we shut down our own ability, which is one of the big points of Scizor. So we're gonna play Muck instead, which shut down basic abilities. And there are some pretty big basic abilities to shut down stuff like Rayquaza, GX, stuff like Tapulele, stuff like Invasion with Donwing. You shut down good abilities with Power of Alchemy. And we also are playing one Tex Sylveon. Sylveon is a very good counter to Rayquaza GX, which we're probably going to run into maybe in this video because people want to try out the new cards. Dress up for a DC, does 30, and if this thing has a tool on it, does 60. That tool could be a choice band, which allows you to hit for 180 in total, one-shotting Rayquaza GX. Um, there's also Tapu Lele here also, which can be a nice way to counter... Um, be a great way to counter Rayquaza, a single fairy energy and a choice band one shot to fully attach Rayquaza. But Sylveon, you don't need to worry about that, which is why I like it. You can also use it to counter like Ladia. Well, actually, no, you can't watch our Ladias, but uh, yeah. Uh, we are playing Scyther, which is a very interesting card. Well, obviously, we're playing Scyther. Um, but Scyther, in my opinion, makes it so we don't really need Bridget in this deck because we have the attack Twin Play. Switch deck from the two Scythers, put them on your bench. Very good attack. We also have Agility, which is also pretty good. Um, we got like Twin Play and Division, which get extra Pokemon from this. It's kind of funny. I am playing one Mewtwo for Buzzwool. We got our two Lele's for Energy Drive and Wonder Tag, which can be useful. Also, going to the items now, we got two Enhanced Hammers, just a bit of destruction. It's really nice. We got two Field Blowers, because Field Blower is great. Two copies of Nest Ball. We're not going to play Bridget today. We're just going to go with Nest Ball instead. I think Evo Soda is also a good fit to this deck. One Rescue Stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. I think Super Rod might be a better one of in this deck instead of Stretcher. It's up to you though. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search for our Pokemon. I'm playing a split of Parallel City and uh, Reverse Valley. Parallel could be great when you have a little in Mocking Play, but also it's great against stuff like Zoar. We are playing one Reverse Valley, you know, it can be great to help Scizor's attack stealing out, prevent damage by 40, with a full HP Scizor and a Reverse Valley in play. Scizor essentially has 250 HP, so Reverse Valley can be very good in this deck. You never know. We're just going to play a split of the two. We are playing the new Copycat. Copycat is going to be great. I actually missed out. Um, there's a there's a trade on pubs. There's like 10 Celestial Storm Packs, and they're giving you one fuller Copycat. I should have sniped that trade when I did. I would have been fully blinged out, but it didn't happen. I actually got pretty lucky with getting my fuller scissors also. But yeah, Copycat, if we're playing against Zork, they have like a huge hand. There you go. It's great draw support. In fact, it makes it so we really only need three Sycamores, and we're going two ends, three Cynthia's, three Guzmas to knock some out. 
I am playing three choice bands. Obviously, we need this for a lot of our Pokemon to do better numbers. Three float stones. A lot of Pokemon are very heavy. Stuff like Mewtwo has a two retreat cost. The Alolan Muck has a four retreat cost. Cell Steel has a four retreat cost. We are playing also eight basic metal energies and four DCEs because mostly everything can use DC like Scizor, Lele, Sylveon, Mewtwo, and Ready Seal. And uh, yeah, this is my Scizor and Friends deck, or like Scizor Muck, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go find games in this deck. I've had to re-record the intro like 50 times, so I'm just going to get straight into the game. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some games with our Scizor deck. Hopefully we get to play against some new decks and not just Zoark. That would be amazing. And alright, it looks like we're playing against Garchomp, which is, which is not a new deck. <laughs> Which is, no, it's just not a new deck. It's actually a bit of an annoying matchup. Garchomp's always an, and we aren't gonna win. Deoxys, alright, this Deoxys coin is trash. I didn't, just tore it out. Oh my, tore it out. We'll see, maybe it's Rayquaza, I highly doubt it though. The typing tells me it's going to be a, a Garchomp deck. Yeah, which I'm not really looking forward to, not gonna lie. But we'll see if we can muster up. I mean, I'm praying it's Rayquaza. But the typing just doesn't add up. It's clearly a Garchomp deck, which is pretty frustrating. But maybe it is Rayquaza. You never know. Maybe it's Rayquaza. If it is, I will be happy. I think Kikui also could go in this deck, guys. I think Kikui would be a nice one of in this deck also. Or maybe two of, because Scizor with a Choice Ban and Kikui and Danger Perception one-shot Zorak GX. So there's something to consider, actually. So maybe we could add that. You never know. My opponent's actually going to pass. Alright, that's fine by me. I think I might just do copycat. Well, we still can. You never know. Might as well. It's better than any of him. He didn't do anything last turn. Uh, we do find Registeel. Probably kind of pointless. Maybe we'll use it if like we need to KO an ability. Yeah, I don't know. We'll put Registeel down. We're going to try out some of the new cards here. Which is nice. And we'll just probably just go double sizz type double scissor, double scyther. And the next turn, hopefully we KO this Remory. We just need a scissor and we're good. Also, sadly, we actually will need to uh we're gonna need to actually maybe to cross cut on a on an artillery. That's a little sad, but might have to happen. We'll see though. Um if it is Garchomp, you know, rip, but uh we do play multiple enhanced hammers for a reason. And yep, it's Garchomp, awesome. Maybe Garchomp actually can't one-shot me though. Maybe uh, Scizor's attack could maybe save us? What, he's playing hammers? Oh my gosh. Thank you for getting tails, that's very annoying. All right, hammers uh, can do away, um, but yeah. Looks like he's just going to attach Choice Band. I might have to end him here. I don't really know how I feel about that. Nope, he got Artillery. That's unfortunate, you can't kill this Remoraid. Scizor, it only does 80 damage to this Octillery, which is actually kind of bad. Um, if I could top deck Scizor... Nope, never mind. I can't Guzma. So we're kind of just stuck doing whatever. I mean, I actually, I could technically do Agility and hit him for 80. Ooh, he actually got rid of two of his Garchomps here. That's pretty big. I could just Agility him for, uh... No, not 80. 40. Yeah, I can hit him I can Agility for 40 on this Octillery. Ooh, is he actually retreating to this Gibble? Ooh, I actually think that's a good thing for me. I doubt he'll do it. He probably sees that Octillery can't get KO'd. I'm not going to do Cross Cut. We're going to need to save that for Garchomp. So there's no point in a KOing Octillery with, uh, with Cross Cut. That seems like a dumb idea. Hopefully he retreats to Gibble. I highly doubt it. He kind of... He probably sees that Octillery can take a hit, force him to waste a GX attack. He's probably not going to retreat. Hopefully he does, though. That would be amazing. We'll see. No, nope. yeah, figured he wouldn't rip. Gayu get a muck. I don't think I can grab anything here. We do have all our scissors, which is good. We did prize and energy, it looks like. We have all our e hammers though, and we also we do have Sylveon. And okay, we got our grimer. I don't think we're gonna need muck in this matchup, but you know what? It's a thought that counts. Alright, we're gonna end him here. We just gotta hope we hit scissor. We should be able to hit it, right? Yep, we're good. I mean, Muck really only shuts down, like, nothing. I can't remember if I had Field Blower in that hand. I, I have a feeling I had Field Blower. If I had Field Blower, guys, I apologize. I'm probably just going to put down Celesteel, though. We might as well try and see if we can use it. Might regret that, though. 
Sadly, Steel Wing doesn't KO him, but it does protect us from getting KO'd by Garchomp potentially, which is kind of nice. I do get 240 HP here, so Garchomp will not KO me, even with that Choice Band, though we do need to get rid of that ASAP. We'll see. He could go Lucario GX. I wouldn't be surprised if he played like one Lucario. He's actually attaching DC to Riolu for some reason. Okay. That had to have been a misclick. I'm not complaining though. That's actually pretty good. Now it hurts his Garchomp from getting powered up quicker. He can't even do Ascension this turn. I wonder why he did that. This gives me more time to build up my board. Um, I could actually use Ready Steel, like maybe to one shot Octillery, maybe to one shot the Lucario with Premolition, so. I think Ready Steel serves a purpose. Probably better than Dust Magnet Crosma, so it's pretty good. We'll see if we get to use Celis Vila, though. There's so far, 12 prizes in play, so someone's got to take. It's got to be six prizes, so we can do. Oh, yeah, we can also one shot Diancy with Ready Steel, so Ready Steel might actually be a pretty big game changer. Diancy is actually annoying, that does let him hit better numbers. So, yeah. We'll see what Abyssal Hand gives him. If this gives him Rare Candy Lucario, that would be kind of bothersome. Hopefully it doesn't. He did get rid of his Vulture Balls here, so... Hopefully no Rare Candy. Garchomp, that would be amazing. But yeah, thankfully he didn't He didn't attach DC. He's actually going to bring out Lucario for some reason. Okay. Um, we won't knock it out, but very questionable play. I mean, the funny thing too is that Choice Band stays on Lucario. He's going to put me under the 100 HP thing, so be my guest. He does get a Gabite. I wouldn't mind pulling off a KO on this thing this turn with Steel Wing. Doesn't look like it's going to be happening, though. He's going to be able to Stretcher. Get back the two Garchomps. This Garchomp can be hit for weakness by Sylveon. Unfortunately, though, we don't have... You know, any way to actually one-shot him, so it doesn't matter. We do find a DCE. Um, I might as well attach that to Ready Steel. I'm just gonna burn these choice bands. It might come in handy if he's playing Lucario, but I doubt it. Oh, we do find an enhanced hammer, and I might as well play that now just to slow him down a little bit. And we'll hit him with Steel Wing for 80. Hold the float stone in case we need it for Cell Steela. Bit of a weird hand though, we have to get rid of three metal energies. But uh, if we talk about Guzma, we can always Silver Fist, knock out Diancy, finish off Octillery. That would be kind of nice. I was hoping we would hit Field Blower, though. I feel like we did have Field Blower at one point, we just never played it. I, I can't remember. Maybe it was when we did, uh, what, the end or the copycat that one turn? Okay, yeah, this Garchomp's getting a little scary. Strong Energy is going to allow him to one-shot me. He's got way too many damage boosters in play. We really need to KO him soon. Probably gonna try and build up cross cut. It's not attacking me this turn, which is good. If I can find a field blower or my other enhanced camera here off the sycamore, I'll be able to slow him down quite a bit, which is really good. This is the thing when you're playing Garchomp. It's a scary deck to play against when they get going, but it's one of those decks that takes a few turns to get ready. This guy plays Delinquent. Of course you do, because every Garchomp deck needs Delinquent, of course. Two energies in this card is very annoying. It makes me wish I did have Super Rod over Stretcher. That's something that I was considering. Probably or not, you know, would be nice to have. Would not be too bad to have. Um, Alright, well, we will see what my opponent does here. Okay, we topped a Grimer, which is fine. We can dump that. Let's see what Sycamore gives us. Okay, we didn't find any way to stop this Garchomp, which is kind of annoying. I'm not saying that he isn't playing, you know, something like Switch. But, uh, yeah, the odds that he's playing Switch is a little high. I don't know why, but I have a feeling, just this tingling feeling in my gut that he's playing Switch. I could knock out this Garchomp, or this Lucario. That will slow him down, actually, because then he doesn't have Prima Wishing anymore. I mean, either way, he probably will knock me out this turn. I mean, he needs DCE and a Cynthia. He's probably got Cynthia. So what I could do is I could just keep Scizor in the active, not attack him, 
pray that he doesn't figure I don't know I feel like he is playing like just one switch like like just one switch in his deck because you know what that's what Garchomp needs it needs switch so I feel like if I do risk not attacking here he'll just switch into Garchomp kill me but I could take the risk and the next turn we can Guzma and cross cut knock out the Garchomp and I actually don't mind that but we do get rid of Primo Wish and we still slow him down regardless. I think actually we'll take the knockout. I think it's better to take out the Primo Wish and then this way, um, if he does, force him to try and get a knockout. He still get, again, he needs DC Cynthia to knock me out. He might have it. He probably does. Wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Then we can just knock him out with cross cut. So we'll see if that works for us. But if he does any more crushing hammers, I might have a heart attack. I don't know. This is, like, the thing is, he's playing delinquent crushing hammers, so... I, like anything's possible that's why i'm kind of scared that he does have like something crazy like a switch or an escape rope that would be very annoying but I'm just gotta make sure i'm gonna actually try and keep kind of the prize here for self steel the self steel is huge we could one shot garchomp with him so so far we have taken one prize so there's 11 prizes in play so a bit of a ways to go but you know that's how it works all right we'll see if he knocks me out this turn if not will gladly treat this Garchomp to a Guzma date or a Crossing Cut date. I keep calling it Crossing Cut. It's the same, it's the same thing. Cross Cut, Crossing Cut. Well, let's see what my opponent does. He's going to bring out the Garchomp. All right, he's playing. Rip, I was hoping he was AFK there. Not All right, let's see what he does. I am nervous. Does he have Cynthia DCE? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't, but you never know. You never know. We have gotten rid of one of his DCEs so far, right? So, let's see. We will fall with a knockout of our own, and we can also... Um, he's not going to be able to attack me the following turn unless he's playing, like, Baby Buzzwool or, like, Buzzwool GX, which, you know, could could be a thing. That would be kind of bad if he is playing that. We'll have to see. We should be okay here if he does KO me here. As long as he doesn't do another dumb crushing hammer or something like that. He's doing a lot of damage here. He's doing an extra 50. He's doing 250 with Royal Blades, just on the strong energy choice band alone. He doesn't even need Dionysus Prison Star. He might not be playing though. I'm not saying it makes the game more entertaining, because it technically it doesn't. Okay. He ain't playing. That's awesome. Um Might as well just burn the DC just so I can get this KO. In fact, I'm gonna field blower away. That float, so he did lose his free retreat. Uh, I think I'm gonna end him. Oh, he's conceding. Okay. I didn't really want to play that game out, anyways. It's not, you know, Garchomp's not really like a matchup that I'm too fond of. But uh, we will find another match here. Um, the only real, uh, by the way, the only like real Cessna Storm cards I have is this Azor set. Um, I'm just waiting for tomorrow when the when the packs come to the shop, and that's kind of when I'm going to be splurging on PDCGO, is when they come to the shop. And then what I pull can kind of decide what decks, you know, get made after that. still have like 93 packs of Celestial Swarm on my account, so it's not the end of the world, but it's fine. We'll see what happens. We are going to start with Dustmane, which is one of the best starters for this deck. And Grimer is also really good. We can use this to shut down Diancy Prism Star, and also we can shut down... A beautiful, maybe Reggie Rocket too. That would be pretty good. So we'll see if Grimer gets used here. There's a lot of different Scizor deck ideas. Like, Scizor Zoark is an ob the obvious one, but I'm not going to do that. Scizor with, like, multi-energy would be fun. Ooh. He starts with a Mar Shadow. So this is, yeah, okay, this is actually a Malamar deck because he's got the, uh, the Lunala deck box. Okay. Malamar is a little interesting. We do have Psychic Resistance, which really helps out Scizor's ability quite a bit. So this is actually pretty good. Marsh Shadow is also a nice card. I don't know why, because Registeel one-shots it with a choice band. So that's pretty good. Okay, so... And also, yeah, we can do 120 Necrozma. We got a lot of good things going for us. We're going to see a Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Probably going to search out a NK. So he basically just got a Bridget on the turn one there, which is kind of sad. He only has one card in his hand, though. Which I'm assuming is a Pokemon because, or at least a supporter. Um, 
I'm just gonna play this now just to burn it. I am going to, oh man. This is a very painful turn. Oh, I, I really don't want to do this. But you know what, that could be a sick more and I might not regret it. And, it. and we didn't hit a DC, or we didn't hit a metal energy. We did find a Scyther in a DC though, which works. That's pretty annoying though that we didn't hit the energy and we gave him a new hand. Whatever though. I think we'll just pass. That really sucks though. That's pretty darn annoying. We basically gave him a new fresh hand. Dustman could go down this turn, you never know. That would be bad. Alright, we see a Sycamore. Luckily that Max Elixir whipped. He gets rid of two of his Guzmas, Stretcher, and he whipped the Max Elixir. Okay, so maybe that hand actually helped, because he actually had to get rid of quite a few big things there, so that's actually pretty good. I'm hoping we can at least get one turn of Dust Shock, though. Or at least two turns, because if we get six damage on both these, the numbers are actually better with the Choice Band Steel Wing combo. And cross cut. So we'll have to see. I wouldn't mind actually playing two Dustmane Necrozmas in here. This is just a really good card. Uh, we'll see. Again, Marshadow is really the only thing that can go through me, technically. Oh, if this gets rid of two energies, I'm gonna cry. Get rid of one. Oh, he's already got two in the discard. Oh, oh my gosh, he's gonna knock me out. Oh, that is very annoying. But, you know what? We can try and go for Muck next turn, and we shut down his Dawn Wings, and then that would be pretty nice. That is very annoying, though, that he's going to knock out my Dustmane and Crosma. Very, very annoying. We didn't get a single Dust Shot off, but, you know what? We got the turn to build up Scyther. I guess that's fine. That is very annoying, though, I'm not going to lie. We, I was really hoping we could use Dust Shot, but we might be okay here. If we can get Scizor and, like, a KO, Muck. Like, Muck's really needed. Muck might be prized, though. I actually don't know. Okay, we juice Scizor. I'm gonna have to get rid of DC here. A little unfortunate. It's fine, though. Um, that well, kind of does suck, actually. So we do have Muck in the deck. We only have one Ultra Ball, though. My gosh. Two of them are prized. That's brutal. I really hoping we can hit Muck here. Muck in a metal energy, or at least just any energy, though I prefer metals, like needed DCs for Silver Fist. Hey, we got, wow, we got the whole package. We actually got a lot of good things here. For starters, um, I can parallel him. He'll probably just get rid of Marshadow, though. Hmm, is there any, I guess it's fine to get rid of Marshadow. It's really the only thing that could technically one-shot Scizor, because... You know, he's not a psychic type. He can go straight through that resistance. So I think it's safe to parallel him. Just gotta get rid of something. And then we drop down a Lolan Mach. We put the Choice Band of the Metal on. And we probably Steel Wing him for 110. This hand is amazing. So I'm actually... That Sycamore gave us basically the perfect hand for next turn. We can fall over the KO on the Necrozma. And all will be good. Actually, mm, Actually, this thing's a little more annoying. Because he hits him with Moon's Eclipse. That would be kind of tragic. Just as I predicted, he gets rid of his Marshadow. We put down the muck, we play this, we retreat, and we play Choice Band, and we Steel Wing him for 110. So not bad. That was a very good turn. Our hand is amazing. I can probably just bring out that Dawn Wings. This thing could just get finished off by, like, a lot of stuff. So it's all good. I do want to get that Dust Mane back, though. But we're in a really good spot. The only thing that really hurts is just no draw support or energy for next turn to try and build up more Pokemon. But Scizor, for now, is probably going to be tanking. We're shutting down Invasion, which is huge, and there's no way he can stop Muck right now. Unless he had a Guzma there. Actually, yeah, if he had, his, if he had a Guzma, he could have just Guzma Dark Flash my Muck. That would be tragic. But Muck is coming in here. This is why I like Muck, folks. Muck it might save us a few turns. Because even if you get it for, like, a few turns, like, kind of like Garbodor, it just it's, it makes all the difference. He's actually going to build up his Necrozma. Maybe it's not safe to bring him up, because then he'll just build it up. I don't know. I feel like we're okay. He's doing 50 less damage to me. Um, so I don't know. He's actually gonna end me. Okay, we should probably still get a Guzma. We haven't played one yet. We can get probably get more energies here for our Scyther. There it is. And we got Guzma. We got Field Blower, which is also huge. Field Blower is amazing. We get rid of Float and Choice Band. She's gonna build up that Dawn Wings. I think I am gonna Guzma at this turn. Just try and get some early damage on it while I still can. I'm not really too worried about Necrozma. I'm more worried about just Moon's Eclipse kind of giving him a free turn. 
of not taking damage, I think that's pretty bad when we're two-shot him. But I think it's safe to just not attack that. I don't know if I want to actually build up Scyther or Registeel. I think we'll still build up the Scyther though, but we have a really good hand here. Um, we get rid of Float and Choice Band. He'll probably have the energy to attach, so I think I gotta bring this up now. Like, we would shut down Invasion, so he wouldn't just Invasion Malamar and then, you know, go that way. But he'll have an energy in his hand probably to Moon's Eclipse me. It's not knocking me out, but it's still very annoying. I don't want Moon's Eclipse to happen. So we're just gonna hit him for 110 for now. Just get damage on this thing. Try and knock it out while we still can. He'll probably retreat into the Necrozma. He'll probably just attack me here. But again, I doubt he's gonna knock me out. Unless my math is completely wrong, which I hope it's not. Should be okay. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm too lazy to count uh, if that's knocking me out or not. I didn't think he had that much energy to discard. Is this not- I have 50 less damage here. I should be okay, Scizor. Please, Scizor. Uh, I- This is why I wanted that Marshadow gone, because this could happen. Please don't die. This knocks me out. Um, I might be in trouble. Is he gonna Fuel Blower me? He's probably gonna get rid of Parallel and that float on the muck. That's fine. Parallel did his job, I guess. Slowed him down a little bit. He could parallel me, actually. I'd probably just get rid of Cell Steel and Lele. Cell Steel and may not be too slow. Rangaroo, thank you for putting that down. That's useless. Yes, I live. Okay, good. So my math was right. He got rid of all the energies. So now is a good turn to knock out that uh, Dawnwings. It's also a good turn to try and build that Registeel. So we'll knock out Dawnwings here. We might live the turn. I don't know if my opponent can knock me out. If he has a float, maybe. But we have gotten rid of a few of them so far. And we've gotten rid of two Guzmas, so yeah. He might not be taking a knock at this turn, guys. See what our prizes are. We got Cynthia, and we got Mewtwo, so not bad. Mewtwo could be okay. If he attacks me with, like, I don't know, Baby Hoopa or something like that. Max Elixir, yikes. That could hit. And it does, awesome. So we're probably gonna get knocked out here. That's pretty annoying. We'll knock him out with Silver Fist though, which is fine. I mean, he still needs an energy or like a float to knock me out. He's played actually, he's played eight energies. Or six, sorry, and yeah, he's probably got the energy, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually gonna end me to four. This could be bad if I don't get another supporter or an energy to knock him out. Okay, we got Copycat, we should be good. Oh, he parallels me. Actually, do I wanna get rid of Celesteela here? I think I have to. Yeah, I can't wait for this garbage to leave, but if he knocks out Scizor, 3, 7, okay, yeah, Celesteela, basically I don't think I'm going to be able to use it this game. I don't think is going to be useful. It can go. But yeah, thanks for playing Mew. Mew cannot attack me. We can't retreat here. This is golden. We don't have any more Guzmas in our hand. We have one left. Ultra Ball, alright, nice, he doesn't have a retreat, and he can't do Instruct, so this is awesome. This is pretty good, if you ask me. We actually can't really do anything about this hand, though. So I guess I knock him out, he'll take his prizes and a copycat him. Seems fine. Seems fine. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that, oh, that is the best top deck in the world! Yes, nice, alright, this is... This is basically GG for my opponent. He can't attack me with Mew. And before he top decks, Dawn Wings and Moons Eclipses me. That would be very bad, but he just burned his Ultra Ball. But yeah, that was really... that. That's the best top deck in the world. Alright, nice. If that, I swear to gosh, if that's something that's going to help him, I'm going to cry. Yes, nice. We won. Alright, sweet. Now, Muck, guys. This is why Muck is so good. Against Malamar... You can see how good it is. We shut down Invasion, we shut down that Orangaroo, we were shut down that Baby Mew. We got super lucky though, that top deck. Though I kind of had it planned out. You know, we'd knock out Malamar, he would take his prizes, and I would see what Copycat would give us. See if Copycat would give us a good hand or not. So I had it planned out, but I'm glad I top decked that Guzma when I did. That was an insanely good top deck. That was just ridiculous. That was insane. Alright, nice. So we got a nice little a dub there. 
and see what we're up against next. It looks like we're up against Buzzwill, so we'll have to see how Buzzwill does today. Or how we do against uh, Buzzwill. We are going to win the coin flip, which is a good start. I think we're definitely going to need Muck here, so we can shut down Diancy and stuff like that. We do start Celesteela and Scyther. I'm going to have to start with Celesteela. Scyther is going to probably get KO'd, so it's probably better to start with Celesteela. We have three floats, we'll put the float on it. It's fine. We have a decent hand. Probably end him. I don't know if I want to parallel him quite yet. Probably better to save it. Okay, nice. I was hoping we were top that ground. I'm actually tempted to hold the hand, but I doubt he's playing any field blowers. I'm going to hold the parallel. That could come in handy down the road. We got another Scyther. We got Nest Ball. Um, I'm actually going to Nest Ball for Dustmane at Crossman if it's in the deck. So we got all our Scizors. We do have a Lolan Muck, which is important. We got one DCE prized and one Metal prized. I'll just pass. I'm going to not play the Scyther down. There's no point. Hopefully we don't get Field Blower, but again, Buzzwill doesn't play Field Blower. You never know, though. Anything's possible. But uh, yeah, we have a decent start here, guys. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. So we see a Cynthia from my opponent. They do get baby Buzzwool. Buzzwool might be awkward. He's actually going to hit me with baby Buzzwool. So Dustmane's actually not going to do much here. So we'll probably just have to attack him. It's like there. All right, let's see what we draw. Nice. All right. We'll probably have to get rid of the float. This is fine. We do play three. Um, we'll grab Lele here for Sycamore. Hopefully we hit Scizor off this. That would be bad if we don't. Not hitting Scizor could be a problem. I'm also kind of hoping Scizor and Muck and a supporter for next turn would be the best best cards I can get off this, I guess. So, yeah, Scizor, Muck, and a Pokemon. Here we go, guys. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, we didn't get the Muck. At least we got Scizor, though. Barely, actually. So that's good. I'm going to Steel Wing him. Two shot him, and he's doing very little damage. He wouldn't be doing that much if we had Muck in play, though, which is tragic. Very tragic. Metal Frying Pan is something you can run in this deck also, just a combo with Seal Wing. That would be a fun little combo. Um, play Delmize. We'll probably look at it like a Scizor, Delmize, Metal Frying Pan deck. You do have to watch out for Lycanroc, though. I'm tempted to knock him out now? I don't know, actually. We'll see. If I get another Scyther here, I can attempt to DC to it. Maybe. You do have to watch out for Lycanroc's Danger Trove. It's an Ultra Ball. An Abyssal Hand. If he bumps the Parallel, that'll be sad. If Parallel can at least get a couple turns, that'd be awesome. I don't know. I am really tempted, though, to Guzma that Rockruff. I think I'm going to do that. Because Rockruff gets in the way. And then maybe we break the Mold from Sledgehammer. So, I don't know. I think we do knock out thing. 70, even with the Resistance. Or, no, the Resistance. Sorry. The, 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 lose, the loss of damage. All right. So, put down a little in Muck GX. Now, he loses Diancy. But in great last turn. And we will knock out this Rockruff. We'll get that annoying, annoying garbage known as Lycanroc out of here. We'll take our prize. See what it is. I wouldn't mind I would have liked Enhanced Hammer too. That would have punished him a lot. Muck and Enhanced Hammer. That would have been pretty big. There's Brooklyn Hill. So Parallel's gone now. That's fine. We do have Reverse Valley. He might go Buzzle here. We'll see. He's gonna put down another Rockruff. That's amazing. I love Rockruff. My favorite card in the game to see on the bench. Especially when they have an energy on it and they know when you have a bench that could be killed by Dangerous Rogue. Yep, there it is. Yep, awesome. Great, great, great. Sounding a lot like Tony Stark right now. Ooh, Guzma. He's gonna trap Muck. Okay, that's annoying. We don't have a way to get out of the active right now. I don't really mind this too much, though. I don't know. I am scared of Bloodthirsty Eyes, though. It's one of the. Why can not so much? Okay, we need to get Muck out of the active. Guzma top deck, once again, would be amazing. Okay, we don't. Get a Grimer. Probably just get rid of Grimer and, I guess, Choice Band here for another Scyther so I can get another Scizor down. I don't like filling my bench up when Rockruff's in play, but I'm going to have to dig here. All right, we only have one float. I doubt we'll hit it, but if we do, good. We didn't hit it. We do get an Enhanced Hammer, though, which is nice. Still no Guzmas or floats for next turn, which sucks. Muck, I really don't want you to go down, buddy, but may happen. 
If Muck goes down, then we won't have act. We won't be able to stop Princess Cheers, which is a little sad. But I don't really mind this though. Muck's actually more of like a, a kind of a wall, if anything. Like, it's really only good to shut down Diancy, but shutting down Lele is kind of important right now, also. I'll just see he's played three energies, two max Luxers. I doubt he'll knock out Scizor this turn. It is possible. If he gets Guzma, Lycanroc, Energy off this Abyssal Hand somehow, I mean, that would be pretty tragic. But we do have access to just cross-cut the Lycanroc, and that's one of the nice things about Scizor. Okay, he's actually not going to attach to his... Um, Buzzwolf, so he's fine. Of course, he actually hit everything off of that. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Yeah, man. Lycanroc, this card is so... Like and rock, like and rock, like and rock. Of course he hits that, but whatever. We keep Muck alive, and we knock him out cross cut. And we also get rid of uh, Sledgehammer's extra damage, so... This is not the end of the world. Though it kind of is, because I hate... I hate Dangerous Rogue for the fashion. I wouldn't mind Stretcher right now. We'll do Cynthia, see if we can probably get another Scyther. Okay, we got Stretcher. Probably just put Scyther back. Lele's kind of not doing anything right now. He will have B-String. Scizor could go down this turn. We are still shut down to Ancy, though, so his damage is kind of nerfed a little bit. We'll see how this goes. He does. He has gone through two strong energies. That's good. So, Scizor, if you can tank a hit, that'd be amazing, buddy. So then I can try and knock him out next turn with Steel Wing, maybe, if I can find my Choice Fan. We're out of Choice Fan. Wow, I didn't know. Rip. That's pretty bad. Not a terrible spot, but I don't know. Still a good match, though. Really good match. So let's see what my opponent does. He does have a B-String, or B-String, so we have Beast Energy. He puts Lele down, but can't use the ability. He probably just did that so we can dig for B-String a little bit more. Hopefully he doesn't get it, because that, that would be tragic. Nice, Max Elixir Whiff. I like to see that. That's what I like to see. He's going to bring out Buzzwell. Does he have B-String? He doesn't, so he's just going to settle with a Jet Punch for now. Okay. And Muck will go down very soon, but not next turn. Awesome. Um, so seven prizes in play, so I can't Moonrake him. So we'll just attach the Scyther for now. Uh, Registeel wouldn't be bad in this matchup to one-shot, like, Diancy or Octillery. But I don't mind that right now. And we'll just Steel Wing and hope he doesn't hit B-String next turn, I guess. This sucks, though. Scizor, it, it's kind of hard to manage when they can control the damage they do and not activate Danger Percent. Be a top deck beast ring, obviously. It's great. Okay. Um, he's got 110 HP. I could dust on him for 90. It's not really doing much though. Sycamore 2. Okay. Alright, that should be his last Guzma. That's pretty good. Field Blower. Okay. Why do you play Field Blower in your deck? I will never know. Just kidding. Obviously, it's good to have Field Blower, but Buzzwell doesn't play Field Blower. It's always annoying. But he's got five cards left. Um, not saying I could deck him out, but there could come a day where I get one of my field blowers and trap artillery or Diancy in the active. Just saying, he's used all his Guzmas, and that's most likely his last two floats. He's actually gonna knuckle. No, no, he absorption. No, he knuckle impacted. He already used Danger Shrogue. There's five prizes. Dang it, Salastila. Dang it, da <sighs> Salastila. Okay, we top deck Sylveon. It's not really helping. We do have one Scizor left. Hmm. He did do Knuckle Impact. So he's not attacking, but he'll retreat and he'll have Wolf. He could win the game, potentially. We're just gonna have to hope he doesn't have game. Really would like Field Blower right now, though. Really would like Field Blower. If Scissor goes down, I'm done. I mean, you never know. He might just be playing four Guzmas. He might be. I mean, I mean, if he's playing four Guzmas, then I guess it is what it is. I guess we just gotta hope he's not playing four Guzmas. We'll see. 
If you're not playing four Guzmas, this might be good. I don't know, I think Buzzle does play four Guzmas. I haven't played Standard in a while, and this is telling me nothing. Super Rod, okay, that does give him back access to Lycanroc, but he can't play Rockruff down right now, so that's pretty nifty. Lately being on the bench, though, is a big target, though. That's the only thing that bothers him. Really? All this to plan, we KO him, and he doesn't win in the following turn. We get a Guzma, we could knock out Buzzwool to win the game. So, the window is to win the game there. It's just... Mmm, a bit of a way to go. I just gotta hope he's not playing four Guzmas. Okay, he's gonna end me to three. That's fine. I don't mind that, actually. I really want to find Guzma here. Okay, we got Copycat. We do find Reverse Valley. Reverse Valley's okay, I guess. Oh, I can't float. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay, I think I live here. Yeah, okay. That's game. That is games. Man, three floats. And field blower. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, we basically lose. There's not much I can do. I actually just reverse valley. <laughs> that's funny. Um, didn't even realize that. Okay. I guess we'll have to do this. We can do this, I guess, but we can't do it to that. So that's the only problem. We'll see what this prize is. Looking for Guzma Energy. Mewtwo and Enhanced Hammer. Okay, that's actually nice. Okay. Okay. Actually, Mewtwo doesn't even one-shot anymore, Rip. Really. Ah, I don't know why I didn't reverse Valley myself. I thought I was losing there, but I remembered I could retreat into Dustman. Whatever. I mean, he just jet punches and wins, so it doesn't matter. We can Enhanced Hammer him. Oh, man. If I had Guzma, I'd win the game. No! Uh... Doing 50. I mean, if he has an energy, he obviously just wins. But I could retreat. No. I think I just lose. Yeah. No other way out of it. If I could do Steel Wing again, I'd live. But we can't. Oh, that's annoying. That. Yeah, I just probably still got a few fightings left, so even if I could steal wing, you'd probably just attach and knock me out. Yeah, it's fine. We came close to winning. We just needed to find our last Guzma to win. If Muck wasn't in play, technically we would win because we would be able to try and Lele a few turns ago to knock out Buzzle, but it's unfortunate. And he's gonna slow roll me, it looks like. Well, that'll wrap today's PDCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And again, guys, let's see if we can hit 100 likes in today's video. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys help me on the road to 3k subs. We're 50 off, so if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on some more... I'll catch you guys on some more Susto Storm deck hype. I like this deck quite a bit. If I were to change it up, I don't know. Celesteela kind of sucks, not gonna lie. I didn't use it at all. I think Celesteela can get taken out of the deck. Other than that, this is a very fun deck to play. I definitely, definitely would recommend Test Note Scizor. It's an interesting card. I think it's got a lot of potential. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, again, leave a like. Help me in the road to 3k subs. I'll catch you guys another PCGO Celsius Storm video tomorrow. Pack opening video tomorrow. Then maybe the next day, another deck. Depending on what I pull. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day, and goodbye.